You want to become a new and better version of yourself, but you don't know how? You came to the right place. guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be giving you tangible tips on how to become a new and better version of yourself if you are wanting to make drastic change in your life and not even drastic if you just feel like the person that you're meant to be is not who you are right now I'm gonna tell you exactly how we're gonna get you there the internet can be this big place where you feel like there's so much information being spit at you all the time and the great thing about it is is you take what you want you leave what you don't. Similar to reading the Bible, you don't just read the Bible once and go on with life and you're like, okay, I read it once. It's a practice. So you're watching these videos constantly. You're constantly evolving. You're constantly being reminded. You're constantly learning. That is this whole thing with self-development. You don't just watch one video once and say, okay, well, that's it. You are consistently keeping up watching videos, reading books, learning, diving into your religion, whatever it may be, because that is how you're gonna continually be the better version of yourself. So stay tuned for this video. The thing with becoming a new version of yourself is it's going to take actual tangible change. There's a lot about manifestation out there. If you think it, it's gonna be true and it's gonna happen, that is not how manifestation happens. That's not how you bring things into your reality. The whole idea is that you start acting in the moment as if whatever you want has already happened. That is how we create a new reality. So let me explain. If you see the version in your head and she has black hair and she's always wearing a dress suit and maybe she's dressed really nicely and she takes care of her teeth and she has a crazy morning routine, what is the difference between you and that girl? Okay, so the tangible physical change is something that we can control on the outside that we can make happen right now. For me, in my head, the version of myself that was the best version of myself. I had dark hair, it was very healthy, my skin was glowing, I was in the best physical shape, I felt really good, my mental health was on top, I felt like I was living in my purpose. These are all things that I felt like my best future self was, and so I literally just started doing the things now. If you want a good example of this, go back and look at my old Instagram pictures. Even my sewing was terrible at the time, but I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna change. No one told me to change. No one pushed me to change. A lot of people were like, you're great the way you are, but I'm like, this is not the version of myself that I know I can be. So if you don't have a clear vision of who you are and what that person looks like, even just physically, let's sit down, let's formulate a picture of her in your head and let's actually start making physical changes right now to be that person. The whole idea is that you're becoming this new physical version of yourself and sometimes it's going to take external change to also help with catching up to what the internal thinks. Because if you just think in your head, oh, like this is what I do, this is what I do, and you just think that way forever, it's never gonna happen. If the person that you want yourself to be is she's in a boardroom, she's killing it, she can talk really well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start taking public speaking classes, you're gonna buy yourself a blazer, you're gonna start wearing the blazer. Wear the blazer, wear it to the grocery store, wear it to wherever, start acting as if you are that woman already even if you don't even have a job right now just start pretending in like the most authentic way to yourself whatever you see in your heart just start showing up like that right now the second thing since these are going to be tangible things that you can change is you are going to create a new morning or night routine now this is very important because a lot of successful people a lot of people who care about setting a standard for their day a lot of people who want structure in their life in some way have a really great morning and night routine so if you already have one right now and you feel like there's things I can do to improve my morning routine. Let's make changes, whether that's waking up slightly earlier, whether it's I wake up, I get sunlight, I drink a glass of water, then I take a shower and I do my skincare. Something as simple as that, it does not have to be anything crazy, but let's start creating morning and night routines that look like the people that we want to be. If you keep thinking, well, I wanna get up at 5 a.m., but you're scared to get up at 5 a.m., or I wanna get up and I wanna do yoga first thing in the morning, let's actually start building that into our routine right now before you feel like it, before you feel like you're deserving of it or worthy of it let's start actually doing that right now we're gonna be tweaking our morning and night routines whatever it is right now if you feel like you can improve upon it let's start doing that if you want to start going to bed earlier let's start doing that today that leads me into the third point which is stop saying I'll do this tomorrow I'll do this next week oh when I get this is when I'll start doing that let's just go ahead and remove that whole ideology let's remove that from our vocabulary let's remove that from our brain and let's start thinking about the present moment the most crazy thing that altered my brain is when I realize that the future and the past don't exist and not in the way that people say like they don't exist it doesn't exist because we're always right now in the present so everything yourself right now while you're watching this video is doing that is who your future self is gonna be 
and that is who your past person has been. So right now, if you feel like I want to be the successful person in the future, today is the day that we start things, okay? Like me, I always said, I wanna do YouTube, I wanna be a YouTuber. I have all this knowledge in my brain, I wanna share it with people, but I'll do it when, I'll do it when I have more time, I'll do it when I have a cuter apartment, I'll do it when I have a, a professional setup. No, we're starting today, we're doing it today, we're doing it last week, we're doing it the week before, and we're being consistent with it, even if you don't even feel like you're that person yet. Why put off until tomorrow what you can do today? That is the slogan that we're gonna be living by in this video, today, 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 there's only more todays. Stop putting off until tomorrow. The fourth thing is become less sensitive. If you are becoming this new version of yourself, you are going to need to stop being sensitive when people critique you, when people talk about you, when people make you feel uncomfortable for changing. The more sensitive you are to other people, the less likely you are going to be the person that you want to be if you have grand dreams about yourself. If you were born with something on your heart and there's something on your heart that's continuously tugging and pulling at you and you feel like, oh, I'm not where I should be, you are born with that golden heart. You are born with potential. That is what potential looks like. When you have that aching, nagging feeling on your heart that I'm not where I'm supposed to be, I can't explain it, but there's something more out there for me. That is a feeling that not everyone is born with. So know that you are special and know that when special people start to do things, a lot of times it makes other people uncomfortable. So you have to be comfortable with not being so sensitive. For example, you start changing the way that you dress. People who are not comfortable with change, you're gonna make them uncomfortable. They're gonna be like, oh, you think you're too good now? You're wearing a blazer, you're wearing this, and you're wearing that. Or why are you overdressed to dinner? That is one thing that I used to get a lot. It's like, you, like we're gonna go out for dinner. I will overdress anywhere. I don't care because that's how I want to present myself. That is how I see the best version of myself. And I just had to ignore when people were like, oh, you're overdressed. Like, of course you're overdressed. And then it became so normal to them. They just accepted that new version of myself. And now it's like, oh yeah, of course. Like if you invite Deandra out, this is how she's going to be dressing. If you invite Deandra out, this is how she's going to come. So you have to make people accept who you are by just being unapologetically yourself. When you start to change, even personality wise, maybe you're putting up boundaries with people who are used to letting you walk all over them. Maybe Maybe you're finally cutting people out of your life who are used to you doing certain things or being there for them in certain ways and it's actually hindering you. So once you put up that boundary, all of a sudden it's a problem. And they're telling you that you're the problem and this, but you're so sensitive. Like if you go back into that space where you're like, you know what, right, and going back into the exact same person that you were before you put up that boundary, you will never move forward. So this is to encourage you to say, you know what, if people don't like the way that I dress because I want to start dressing in dresses all the time or I want to start dressing in cargo pants, and duh, what I want to change my style to street style. Then and you have to become less sensitive because sometimes people will say things. People on the internet, they love to do that. People on the internet love to sit behind a phone and say things about you. And so if you're making these changes and you're posting on the internet or you're posting on Instagram and people are making you feel uncomfortable, you have to be really confident in the decision that you're making and know that this is my future self doing this. And I'm not sensitive to what other people think because it's not their lives at the end of the day. They're not the ones who have to go on and live your big grand life. They're not the ones who get to reap the benefits of you becoming that person that you wanted to be mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. The last one is be comfortable with solitude. This one took me a very long time to understand. It took me a very long time to be comfortable with and it's something that I still work on. I will still watch videos and hear other people how to be okay being alone. I say this because when you make drastic changes to your life, like in the previous point, not everyone is going to be going to the same place that you are. Not everyone is going to have the same feelings that you have. When I first started doing content creation, a lot of my people around me were kind of like, oh, you take, you know, you take a lot of pictures or you know what, try to make me feel uncomfortable comfortable about taking pictures or videoing all the time and to be honest I just had to stop hanging out with those kind of people I just had to start doing my own thing and being alone if I wanted to create this kind of content or if I wanted to do certain things that other people weren't there for and didn't care about I had to be okay with doing it alone also a lot of times in life we can only see our true selves and we can only grow when we are alone I've learned this by being in relationships and trying to grow, by being around a lot of friends who had conflicting ideologies and you know, you're always hearing, you're always hearing what people think. Stop listening to what people think and sometimes that's going to take solitude. So you're gonna need to be alone. It's going to be sad, it might be uncomfortable, but the whole point of growing and becoming the better version of yourself is you're putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because on the other side of that uncomfortability and that other side of fear is actually when we get what we want. On the other side of that fear that you've been, oh, I'm gonna put this off till tomorrow, I'm gonna do this tomorrow, I'm gonna do this next week, and before you know it, you're 75 and you never did it. On the other side of that was actually your success. It was where you were happiest, is where you were in alignment with yourself, with your heart, with your true being in life, whatever that may be. It's on the other side of that uncomfortability. Being okay with being alone. 
going to restaurants alone, sitting in your apartment alone, being bored alone, feeling like, oh, my energy no longer aligns with a lot of people that I'm meeting. I feel like it's, is there something wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. You're just becoming that new version of yourself and now you're really protective with your energy. Now your energy is not gonna just match because you're not here to people please. You're here to love yourself. You're here to become the best version of yourself. A beautiful quote that I just heard from one of my favorite pastors is, you cannot be happy and live in fear simultaneously. So if there's any kind of fear that you're feeling about not living in your alignment or true self or being scared to do things, you cannot actually be happy. They can't exist simultaneously, happiness and fear. And once I th sat down and thought, wow, actually, I might have a lot of fear in my life. I, you know, fear is the inability to do something because you're scared of the outcome. You can't be happy if you're scared of the outcome because you have to understand that that outcome is meant for you if you want it. If you want something, the only thing that's going to change and the only thing that's going to get you there and the only things stopping you from becoming that new version of yourself is your fear and is you. So if you wanna achieve happiness, you need to jump on the other side of that fear and you dissolve fear by doing. I hope you guys love these tips. This video is to encourage you. This video is to give you tangible tips on how to become that better version of yourself, how to become that new unrecognizable version of yourself, how to start doing things today. You've got this. I'm here to empower you. I'm here to remind you. You are capable of everything that you think you are. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.